Hi guys, welcome back to part two. Uh, actually, I'm showing here. Um, it says here that a low pressure was making this storm very different. Uh, the what way the author mentioned here was that the diameter was enormous and contained very large wind field. Uh, this was taken the day before it hit the coast there along the northeast, which was 600 miles. That's from the center on out, all the way out. And then by the next day, it expanded to a thousand miles. That's pretty uh, enormous storm, very remarkable storm. Uh, so that it was a category one with 75 mile winds and all. Um, and you see like just the, the, the massness of, of that storm. It's really, that's what they call a Frankenstorm, a huge storm. Um, this is the list of the power outages map uh, for the Mid-Atlantic, the Northeast of New England. Um, it just gives information on who had lost power and how many are at without power at that time. So if uh, you know of anyone in these areas or if you're living in these areas, here are power, power outage maps. But this is one for I'll just click on the one for New York City. And that's another thing I had in our article mention too. That it was in total darkness uh, at this time. I don't know the situation yet. But you see here the map uh, that most of the... Uh, what's this 50 plus? Over oh, 5,000 customers out. So we've got mostly 50 pluses here in the red. No, I'm reading it wrong. I'm sorry. Multiple, there's multiple outages there uh, with up to 50 customers out and well actually up to more than that. 500 customers out. Okay. Um, and this is Con Edison. I was mentioned to, there was an article about Con Edison, uh, along with a lot of markets. And when I mentioned the stock market uh, was going to be out like for two days, um, I mentioned that somewhere I heard that the stock market is no longer in New York now. They moved it. Where? I don't know. I've got to get that information. I'm not sure where. Um, but I heard that, and I think, huh, that sounds kind of funny why they moved the stock market. So, this is a map of all the outages here in the Manhattan area and around Jersey City. Uh, okay, and uh, this article here says New York goes dark, and there's like uh, 10 eerie photos of the hurricane blackout. And it says click here to view the gallery. Uh, apologize that my computer is a little slow tonight. Okay, and right here you see um, the first image of the. Uh, is this a video? Or what? I don't know. Well, uh, anyway, there's your first. Uh, image here. It's kind of eerie looking, doesn't it? You see some lights are there, but I mean, you see, there you go, there's another one. It's, it's really dark, I guess, for a big city like that to be lit up uh, 24 hours a day. Uh, that does look kind of eerie looking. And there's another view. And there's one of the Empire State Building, no other lights around. And there's another one. 
It looks, and look at those clouds. Look at that sky. It looks, oh, that's kind of strange. Look at that red. I don't know if that's just in the image or something. Well, it looks awful. I don't see anything like that. See, if it's very dark, you can hardly tell anything in that at all. It's very dark. The blackout of two, 2012. See, I see the, the Brooklyn Bridge there. And see, we've got the red lights, the red stop lights. So it's all dark. Very eerie looking. This is a sign of things to come, guys. I'm sure that a lot of people there in New York are going to wake up wondering, you know, what's going on. Well, I would. Okay, there's water, fire, and uh, destruction in New York City after the superstorm. And this comes from the Associated Press. Uh, there's also a video here that you can view. And uh, a lot of showing all the pictures of the aftermath of the storm. It says the math of the storm that plummeted the east killed 10 people in New York City and left the nation's largest city eerily quiet on Tuesday with no running trains, a darkened business district, and neighborhoods underwater. It's literally flooded most of the areas there. Very scary. Uh, I'll just leave links to everything you want, like to read the stories. Uh, this page right here has a lot of photos also to show the aftermath of the storm. It's called SAD New York. As a special live coverage, there are updated uh, videos here and pictures. Uh, you can see the, the flooded uh, so, so the subway, yeah, the MTA subway there, um, where it's completely submerged. See, there's the uh, the water in in the subways. It's not completely submerged, but there's water damage in there. And that's that's pretty bad. That that's completely submerged. Yeah. And this is a, a house that was taken off its foundation. This was in Rhode Island. Rhode Island was hit also. And it was, um, and this boat was um, taken to shore. And then it's sitting there. It doesn't look like it's damaged though. So. Uh, trees and fall and catch on fire and there were homes that were burned there too. Atlantic City it really hit the worst right there. Video of Atlantic City Boardway uh, you see the destruction of the block there of the, of the homes that were burned there. LaGuardia Airport's been flooded. You see a picture there of the hurricane. And one of the pictures of the blackout in, uh, in New York there. And more videos, more pictures. You know, I'm recording this um, for future reference, so excuse that. I'll, I'll just leave the link to this so you all can, can read the, the stories here. 
go. Look at that car. Lots of mess. Look at that. Yeah, they really got hit hard. Explosions down the block. Probably struck transformers, you know, with the winds and all. Calls the fires. I mean, anything, really. Yeah, look at that. Look at the water rushing in. Yeah, this storm was purposely done. Um, I mean, they have their plans of keeping Obama in there. I'm pretty much sure that they will. I mean, I just had this feeling that, that this was going to be set up this way so they could postpone the election. Because with him uh, passing still more executive orders against us, against the American citizens, that's going to put him permanently in office. And we need to impeach that guy. And we need to also impeach some others that have put him in office. Yeah, this, this is terrible. This is really horrible. I mean, God allows to happen, allows this to happen about uh, evil dictators, and to me, Obama is a dictator. Uh, he's against Christians. Uh, he doesn't want uh, the freedom of for us to worship Jesus Christ. They want to take uh, Bible out of school, prayers out of schools, and uh, it's led America to be a an atheistic communist country and he is a communist among other things yeah well there's much else to say uh, I'm recording this for for prosperity I guess they, they say I wouldn't say that, not, I guess. I'm just lost for words. This is just pretty bad. But it was to be expected, really. And, uh, don't forget, they have, uh, uh the nuclear plants that are along uh, New Jersey shoreline there. Uh, if you see the mass devastation there that happened along Oyster Creek nuclear plant. And... They would have this shut down for a couple of days, I think I've heard. Uh, but that's not going to eliminate the problem either. Uh, why they're wanting to shut down for a couple of days, uh, that's got me kind of curious. Uh, but there are two uh, videos here also to show the devastation there in that community. And what else? It's, um, if I've got any other information, um, it says that there are five uh, nuclear plants with problems uh, that Sandy hit, and they're all in that area in New Jersey. So this is going to be in like another Fukushima. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, seriously, I think it will be. Um, there's a, they call it the Nine Mile Point there with uh, Oyster Creek, Indian Point, and Lamerick. Uh, those are some of the new plants that are around there. Uh, so keep your eyes out for this, guys, because uh, it's going to be really serious. It's really going to hurt a lot of people. A lot of devastation, you guys. Really bad. Okay, well keep your hopes up. Uh, if you don't know Jesus today, give your life to him today. We're not guaranteed another tomorrow, you guys. Uh, Jesus does love you guys, and um, he wants to um, bring in his kingdom where there won't be n no troubles anymore, no pain, no sorrow. And until next time, I'm at the end, and I'll talk to you later, you guys. And, uh, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.